Hello, this week we're going to be going over how to add a uh, gallery to your WordPress website, um, Lightbox Gallery, using thumbnails. Um, you'll be able to put multiple thumbnails on a page. It's a really cool alternative to some of the other Lightbox Galleries that are available. It's a note tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress, and eMarketing Tutorials. Give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fast and success. Learn more on our website at startcompete.com slash tutorials. All right, with that, we'll get started. You're going to want to install the plugin first. Um, I should have mentioned that there is a table of contents below. Uh, maybe you already have the plugin. You're just trying to get past a certain step. You can go down in the table of contents and skip ahead. All right, so you're going to search um, WP Easy Gallery. Or I also put a link down low where you can um, download it. All right, you hit install. All right, now that's gone through. Hit activate. And that's just this is just the way I prefer to do it. However you want to do it is uh, completely up to you. Once it is installed and activated, you'll notice on the left side, down on the bottom, there it's is a easy gallery tab. You're going to hover over that, and you're going to click add gallery. Okay, so gallery name. Um, the pictures I'm going to be adding are for a landscape contractor that. We're doing some work for it's actually I discovered this plugin while we were doing the work for him so I'm just going to use those photos since um, I don't have any other photos to add <laughs> so do steps steps first uh, steps gallery photos I'm just going to do that and now for the thumbnail you're going to need to upload your image the plugin will automatically resize the images. Um, when I did it, I did make the images exactly what I was going to define them as the thumbnail, but if you don't feel like doing that, I mean, you don't have to. So the first one we're going to do is um, about this one, even though it's a wall. Let's do it. Take the URL of that image. And you notice all I did was go and click on upload image. And um, since I'm already have it on the web, on the computer, I'm just going to go to the media library. Um, if you need to upload it right now, you can do that. Right. Take that link URL, paste it into the thumbnail image path, pick your size. Um, initially, I'm going to do it pretty large, so 400 by how about 250, and I'm going to hit add gallery. All right. Now, before we do anything else, let's just add a few um, a few images to this. So hit add images. That again is on the left. Hit add images. Go to steps gallery. All right. And this is where you're going to be adding all your images. So I'm going to hit upload. And now I'm going to add some steps. Resize with this one. All right, again, take that URL, copy, X out, paste, you can give it a title, granite steps. All right. Now you're going to hit add image on the right. And there's that image. Um, to upload multiple images, there is a pro version to this plugin that you can download. Um, it looked really good. If you're going to be adding a lot of images to your gallery, I do recommend you get that. Uh, I did put a link in the description for that also. Um, in my particular case, I was only adding about three to five photos per gallery, so I just stuck with the free version for now. But uh, if you want to, if you're going to be adding, you know, 20 plus pictures or 10, 15 plus pictures, um, you know, it's very reasonably priced. Okay. And uh, you can also access that by hitting this link up here, Try Easy Gallery Pro. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is upload. I'm going to upload one more image just so that we get the idea. I'm not going to sit here all day with you guys adding images. <laughs> Let's do that one. Take another link. Paste that in. Image title. Granite steps add image all right now you have your gallery you just you just got done adding all your images you're gonna go to um, 
hit easy gallery and you can get your short code since that is how you add these here okay and um, I'm just gonna delete this gallery and that must have been there from when I was playing around with the plugin before hopefully I didn't delete the one that actually has the images <laughs> so we're gonna go to the page that you want added to I'm gonna add it to my about page hit edit All right. I always switch to HTML. Sometimes you can get away with pasting short codes into Visual View, but I prefer just to play it safe. Go into HTML, Easy Steps Gallery. Okay, let's view the page. And you see that it did make a thumbnail, Steps Gallery. I'm going to click on that, and there's the two images that I uploaded. How cool is that, huh? <laughs> Now, I'm going to show you how to add multiple thumbnails to a page. Um, in this case, I'm going to do two. Alright, so now we're going to go back to edit, editing the gallery. So the gallery that I actually did do that with um, was the one that I didn't mean to, but so that one was, the size was 250 by 200 you can change that to 400 by 250 if you want uh, just by changing the size and you'll see that it does um, does change the size of the thumbnail everything still works great um, I want to put two images next to each other two thumbnails next to each other though so in order to do that I know that this is approximately maybe 600 pixels wide let's go ahead and do um, make each gallery 250 pixels and it'll make it nice and nice and centered Okay, I'm, I'm just going to move very more quickly now, doing the second gallery. Steps. Steps. Um, actually, let's take a set look here. Alright, so walls is actually already in here, so you get the walls gallery. Now let's just add a couple of images to that. Walls. It's the same process that you created the first gallery with. Okay, let's get walls. That one. Okay. And I'm going to hit wall. Add image. Okay, now I'll go back and make sure that each gallery is the right size. I want each gallery to be 250 pixels wide in my case. Walls 250 by 200 looks good. Edit gallery. Steps. So this is still too big so I'm going to do 250 by 200. Edit gallery. All right, let's get my, our other short code. You get the short codes again by going to the left, Easy Gallery, click on Easy Gallery. Here's Walls. I'm just going to copy that short code. I'm going to paste it right next to the other short code. I'm going to hit Update. All right, and you'll see that both thumbnails are right next to each other. If I click here, it'll pull up a um, the shot I added, added there. If I click here, it'll add this shot. Uh, you will notice they are pressed right against each, against each other. You can solve that by either using a table or um, another way. I'm going to show you a really kind of uh, an, a really quick way to do that. It, you know, it's not the most technical way, not the way that everybody would do it, but it will work for you in most cases, um, especially if you have a white background. So I'm going to open it up. I switched from HTML to visual. I'm just going to click right in the middle between the two. I'm going to do a dash. Now, you don't want that dash to show up, so you're just going to highlight the dash, make the color white, update, and there you go. You got them separated. If you want to center it, I believe that it will work centering it that way. All you do is highlight the short codes and hit center. And that's it. You got two awesome galleries. So it is a really, it's a great plugin. I really like it. 
and um, I highly recommend it. And let us know if you have any questions. Uh, until next week, good luck.